Hey guys, I'm back with another Honkai Impact 3rd video. Today, we are going to be doing Cooking with Valkyries again. On to episode 3, Not Enough Cream Stew. This one's a May-centric episode, so I'm excited to see what our Master Chef has cooking for us, literally and figuratively. So, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know. And please leave a comment, I respond to every single comment, so if you have anything to say, please say it. I want to talk to y'all. And I think we are going to switch over, and let's get started. Let's check out this cream stew. Let's see how good it is. I personally really like cream stew. I like how- I like the text- I like the texture. It's very, like, heavy, milky. I like it. All right, there you go. Smell that fried chicky? Ooh, very nice. May should know at this point. Never leave, never leave food on the counters while Kiana is in the building. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody ate all the popcorn chicken, so we don't have any more. <laughs> we'll improvise. Man, no, Kiana's just like me for real, though. If you leave the unattended fi fi uh, final product around with me, you're, you're, I'm definitely eating it. 100%. <laughs> I always have to hold myself in my room to make sure I don't do that. Again. Sabotage the dish again. Kiana's got a nice little K hoodie there. But Bratnia beats me all the time. <laughs> Look at them, tiny Bronya and Kiana. Oh, that's the same pot from the first episode where Bronya was making borscht. Yeah, so add butter, milk. And add the chicken to the white sauce, boil for another 10 minutes. Season with salt and black pepper after the flavors have blended. That looks so good. Huh. <laughs> Force feed the picky child. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Vegetables have to be done, like, perfectly if, if they're gonna taste good. Vegetables are a fine line for me whether or not they taste terrible or delicious. That sounds delicious. Terry Terry's got that cooking instinct. Kiana's about to finish the whole pot. <laughs> and history said they were best friends. <sighs> Man, the reason I don't talk much during these final emotional bits is because I just feel warm inside and I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a very nice feeling, you know, seeing all these characters, you know, just get together for a little while, just sit down, have a nice meal, reminisce, and appreciate the small things in life, you know. Makes you feel good inside. Mm -hmm. 
You know what though, this does remind me a lot of myself generally when we're cooking. I am Kiara here. Like, there, I cannot even count the amount of times. Because usually with a lot of the food that my family cooks, usually you will have like, some of the dishes will have like a separate thing where we have to deep fry a bunch of stuff. So we have them all lying out on a rack somewhere. And then I come down and then I can smell it. Like I can smell it everywhere. And then... I see it on the rack, and then my mom turns around for two seconds, and I've already eaten half the tray. <laughs> like, I swear, man. I have a big appetite. I can eat enough for three people pretty easily. <laughs> you can see the guilt on her face. I mean, look at her face here. But it is adorable. Oh, How can you be mad at that? How can you be mad at this? <laughs> Her cheeks are full of fried chicken still. Still, she managed to eat the whole thing within the time it took Mei to turn around. <laughs> Mei looks like she's about to murder Kiana here. <laughs> Mei looks like she is actually about to like slit her throat right here, dude. This is, this is that look. Oh, man. That is a scary look. You do not want to, you do not want to see Mei with that look there. Honestly, I don't know what you expected, Mei. You should know at this point. Don't leave food unattended when Kiana is in the same general area as you. All right. But I think that's probably enough for today. If you liked, uh, like, comment, subscribe, everything, you know, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And also leaving a comment because I really like to talk to my audience as much as I can to understand what you guys like and what you guys might want me to do in the future. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you and take care. See y'all later. Bye.